Thinking about moving to Cape Coral? Wanting to know the pros and the cons? Well, stay tuned and roll the intro. everybody thank you for joining in my name is Victor Prasad I'm a real estate broker here in Southwest Florida servicing Cape Coral Fort Myers Bonita Springs and Estero I create content showcasing Southwest Florida through video and some of the most frequently asked questions through the internet so if you have a suggestion drop it in the comment section below so to stay up to date with our local area be sure to smash that subscribe button and click that bell notification I'll wait Thank you. I get calls, emails, and texts from people who are looking to relocate or sell their property here in Southwest Florida from everywhere around the world. I love making these connections and helping you with your real estate goals. So in today's video, we're talking about the pros and the cons about living here in Cape Coral. First up, we have the pros. So pro number one, the city of Cape Coral is clean and well-maintained overall. There is little to no litter in the roadways at all or in the drainage ditches. Pro number two, if healthcare is a concern for you, Cape Coral has many specialties and subspecialties, especially for our seniors. More importantly, if you have Medicare, there are many healthcare options for you. Pro number three, the Cape Coral Police Department are visible and quick to respond to all emergencies, as well as the fire department. Pro number four, the look of the city. You will notice that most of the properties here in Cape Coral are well maintained and taken care of. The city has tight regulations. For example, you can't have trailers parked in front of your driveway for an extended period of time. There are no RVs or heavy commercial parking at your property. If so, you will get a citation. Pro number five, if you're looking for a city that's well maintained and not in a gated community, then Cape Coral is one of the best options, hands down. Do we have HOAs? Yes, yes we do. Are there a lot of them? No, no they're not, but they do exist. Pro number six, if you own a boat or want to get into boating, Cape Coral is a great place for all types of boaters. For example, if you're a sailor, we have saltwater canals with no bridges and that are sailboat friendly. Next, if you have a yacht, the same scenario. However, you might be limited on the size of yacht depending on the size of your property. So the typical saltwater canal home lot is generally 80 feet of water frontage. I've seen 65 foot yachts docked behind these homes. Finally, power boats. Generally, any salt water lot would work. However, depending on the size of the tower that you have on your boat, you'd have to check certain bridge clearances. So let's say you don't care to be on the waterfront because you want to be able to drop your boat in anywhere, right? There is an option for you. Cape Coral has plenty of well-maintained boat ramps located throughout the whole city. I've made a video about boating boat ramps here in Cape Coral. You could click the pop-up info card here to see that video. Pro number seven. We have very little to no flooding. Generally, after a heavy storm, there are some streets that have a pool of water that takes a day or two to drain. However, you're not going to be flooded out of your home. At least I've never seen or heard of anything happening like that. Now for the cons. Con number one, we do have hurricanes. It's a part of being Floridian. So if you're scared of rain, wind, thunder, then I recommend you watching my hurricane preparation video up here especially if you're looking to become a full-time resident of Southwest Florida. Con number two, it's hot down here. Not like dry hot, like Austin, Texas or Las Vegas, Nevada. It's more of a wet hot. Like if you were to take a nice cool shower and then go grab your mail from the mailbox, you would start sweating again and need to take another shower. Con number three, the wildlife. Florida is a swamp, especially Cape Coral. We do have alligators in our canals, water moccasins, snapping turtles, and an invasive species of pythons. So there, you've been officially warned. Con number four, I-75 is our main highway on the west coast of Florida. So if you need quick access to the highway, be prepared to travel for 15 to 25 minutes to access that highway, depending on where you live in the Cape. All right, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're thinking or even considering relocating to Southwest Florida, be sure to call, text, or email me. I'd love the opportunity to connect with you. And if you want to know more about working, living, playing in Southwest Florida, then if you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell notification, so you're kept up to date with the latest content.
Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.